Hi everyone, comic book reviewer here, this time reviewing on Transformers Shatter Glass 2. Now, as you know, Shatter Glass is pretty much IDW's last story on their take on the Shatter Glass series. And keep in mind, stories like Beast Wars and that, and their 2019 relaunch, has come to an end due to losing their license. And Shadow Glass 2 is pretty much meant to cover some insights on some of the evil versions of the Autobots. And the first issue is meant to cover Ultra Madness's story. And the story mainly starts off with Ultra Madness looking on the file saying, oh, I'm not as gifted with social niceties as you are. So it would probably be easier if you just tell me what you want to say. Senator Shockwave. <sighs> Is it that obvious? I wanted to catch you for a moment, away from your new friends. And we kind of see how he points out about everything that's been going on with Orion Pax and that, and these things to be sorted out. And of course, we kind of see how Bum the evil version of Bumblebee and that are called in by Orion Pax at the throne of Prax. And we kind of see how Ultramanus is let it known that Orion Prax wants one of his Wrecker crew to come with him. But of course, we kind of see how Ultramanus decides to kind of go along, and of course, decides to kind of still follow the rules. And as soon as they go in, we kind of see how the evil version of Optimus says, you are the only bot who is qualified for this. Prowl, perhaps? I got a place for Prowl, but I want him where I can see him. This is where you belong. I don't understand. And of course, we kind of see how he points out that he knows who he is, and it turns out that the face Ultra Madness has is a hologram, and keep in mind that the Shagalas version of Ultra Madness is kind of like the star screen all that to the series and we kind of see how he's meant to lead his new sort of squadron which are the shadlass versions of cup wheeljack bumblebee and springer and decide to kind of have ultramanus lead and train the group and of course we kind of see how optimus isn't pleased with their work and knocks down prowl and we see how Ultraman is tries to get him to kind of reassure him that the team are very good at what they do. And we kind of see how Senator Shockwave is met by the media crew, Laserbeak and Flashback. But we see how they're driven off by the by Ultraman as his squadron. And we see Senator Shockwave saying, This is what you've been up to? To intimidate the press? I wasn't talking to you. And of course, we kind of see how Ultraman is tries to calm everyone down. Does this Sinister Shockwave get threatened by in in Impactor? We see how Ultraman is his anger gets so great that he ends up knocking down in Impactor, which of course leaves Sinister Shockwave shot for words, saying, "Were you incapable of stopping them?" And of course, we kind of see his real face. And we kind of see how Wheeljack asks what they're meant to do with Impactor. And we see him saying, I think we should leave him. And I should make some changes. You dismantled my squadron? I would never do that to you, old lion. It was an issue of obedience. Obedience? You are not the official leader of the squadron. According to the, all the paperwork, I am the one that they must follow. And of course, we kind of see how how Optimus tries to keep him in line. And of course, we see how he gets back to his normal face. But decide to take things on full force. And of course, leave a path of destruction where they go. And we kind of see him saying, Senator Shockwave, I know you're here. And we kind of see how he tries to talk with him, saying, Ultra Madness! That is enough, Senator. Stop struggling. 
This isn't the f debate floor. Hardly a fighter. Neither was the Ultra Madness I knew. And of course, we kind of see how he tries to take him out and beat the merciful crap out of him. And of course, plans to have him in a sort of program that will leave him like his key one self. And of course, we see how the Shadowlass version of Optimus says, You were supposed to be the brains, Ultra Manus, but your arrogance have fried your suckability. My arrogance? Allow me to adjust your attitude. I should have to remind you of your place. And of course, we see him saying, Granted me, I am the source of your authority, you fool. And of course, we see how he ends up going full rage mode on him, taking him down single-handedly, saying, How does it feel to have been right about me? And who am I the whole time? Does it feel like you've won? If it helps, I'm sure that if Senator Shockwave saw this, he'll feel your pain. And of course, after this... Ultraman is stands over Optimus' defeated body. And the next issue is obviously Blaster versus Soundwave. And this is the story. So I think this one is kind of okay. Again, I like the idea that it showed you Ultraman was a good person once, but over time became a shell of his former self, making it a cautionary tale that. Once you enter the darkness, you might never come out of it. So I think the story still deserves a thumbs up. Still good, but still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.